Mmm, a parental crisis. This is the good stuff right here. You are knee deep in the thick, rich broth of parenthood. All right, Charles, I know that you're freaking out and you think you're never gonna be a father, but don't worry. There's no way I'm gonna let Eleanor do anything to your precious... Oil oil? Ugh, all right, I'm out. She can do what she wants. No, 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 no. We'll just call them hostages. I could take him to the Russian bathhouse. Has he been? No, I'm not some weirdo that takes my eight-year-old to the Russian bath. We take our baths at home, together as a family, like normal people. Nobody sucks up like a boil. Of course, you knew that already because you're so smart. I just did it to you. <clears throat> Fine, little man. Bring it. Okay. Looks like you and I are in a good old-fashioned suck-off. Don't call it a suck-off. Why not? Why shouldn't... Oh, yeah, 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 totally, yep. Mm -hmm. Right, smart, good. We all have our thing. You're a muscler, I'm a boner. I don't understand. Where's the tree? It was inside us all along. Brilliant, Jake. No, Charles, not everything was inside of us all along. Sir, you have to give us permission to do this. Weaponize our sweet little mouths. Ugh. I told you, Jake, I'll do anything to perk up my little man. You gotta know how gross that sounds in your underwear. What is he doing here? If we find James and he's unstable, Dr. Tate could talk him down. Hello, Peralta. Plus, on the ride over, he gave me a quickie. A what? A quick therapy session. We talked about so much. Did you know that I have a tendency to be unconsciously sexual? Yes. It's a real tough nut to bust. Up, oh, you're doing it again. Oh, OK, I think I hear it. You think you hear it? As requested, you will be the deuce. Although, I still think you should reconsider that code name. Nope. Deuce. It's like ace, but twice as cool. It is not. It's a turd. I don't know, Jake. I'm afraid I'm going to think about it every time I look at your crotch. Then stop looking at my crotch. I'm glad you get your money back. You can invest it in something you actually believe in instead of my balls. Do we joke around sometimes? Yes, but when it's time to buckle down, we're seasoned professionals. That's why they call us the Spice Boys. They don't and they won't. Sir, I swear, give us a chance. We can get this guy. Bye. Case goes to the Spice Boys. Please don't call us that. Too late. Spice Boy train has left the station. Toot toot! You punched me, kicked me, spat on me, and then you said... There's more where that came from. I got a real wet mouth. You gotta admit, it's a pretty tough line. No, it's not. Ooh, daddy's gonna dish out some daddy discipline. As a fellow daddy, I approve. Stop saying daddy. Okay, Charles, our hands are tied, so we're gonna have to use our mouths. Smart. Whip the tape down with my saliva until you could slip right out. No. Time for me to get out there and spread my wings. legs. Get out there and spread my legs? Well, I either way. No, not either way. Only wings. We get our perp to text the Stom guy, tell him to hire me to move his product. Then I show up, grind a bunch of gnarly rails. I'm talking real fluffy ones. Radical. I bet you're an awesome fluffer. Yeah. I bet you fluff those other riders right out of their biker shorts. Charles, I can picture you as a teenager fluffing all of New York City. Hey, Charles, stop talking. Fluffing has a different meaning. I gave Holt a fake lead to get rid of him. Don't worry, I'm still... The Manhunter. He's the Manhunter and the boy who he hunts with. What's this song? The Boy Hunter song. Boy Hunter down by the schoolyard. Why is he by the schoolyard? Because he's got to protect the kids. Sounds terrible. Hey, I don't hear it. Hey, no nose hair trimming. We're here for eight days, Jake. I don't care. It's on the list. Well, I hope you like nostril bush. <sighs> nostril bush? All right, this hallway is clear. I think we killed them all. It's a regular paint bath. Like bubble bath. No, like blood bath. Oils don't get over it. It becomes part of us. It lives within us. It eats us out. Let me make it slightly better by paying a strong-handed woman to literally milk the stress from your feet. Just shut up. We'll feel better knowing we didn't resort to blackmail. I agree. From now on, the only blackmail I want anything to do with is you. That was incredibly inappropriate. I know, but I had thought of it, and I was so proud, I just had to say it out loud. Are you ready to go streaking? What? That's what my dad and I called getting blonde streaks in your hair. We used to do it to our ponytails on road trips. You just take a little lemon up top and let the sun do the rest. We called it giving each other road head. You just said you called it going streaking. It had a couple names. How many times have I smacked you in your face? Last count. And you still have no fear of me. I'm trying to read your womb vibe. Exactly. Knock it off. The daddy's a property brother, isn't he? It's a property baby. Charles, you know I legally can't answer. Do you want me to have uh, my baby in jail? All right, no more questions, only statements. You are glowing. Brother to sister, you've never looked sexier. Come on, man. I mean, I'm not happy that she was having sex with another man, but I'm OK with it if that's what gets her off. Donger just called and said you abandoned him, took information from a classified computer, and licked a roll of antique stamps. The stamps were on me. I was curious about how old glue tasted. Answer, like a horse lollipop. Hey, Charles, want to grab a beer before you go home? Ooh, a yeast feast. Never mind. Did you just give away your magic jacket? Oh, Terry, it wasn't the jacket. I realize now that Chuck was in here. 
I've had another man deep inside me this whole time. Welcome back, Charles. Oh, right away? It was the jacket. I bet we could sell this stuff. You really think so? We can call our company the Bone Boys. No, more bone, less moan. No, workplace bone buds. That's the one I'm registering it. Oh, we can name the company later. We'll call ourselves the Night Boys. Kind of sounds like a male escort service. The Midnight Men. Even worse. The Dark Stallions. Looks like we're going with the Night Boys. Woo! Hey, Captain. I have a juicy little boil nugget I'd like to drop on you. The money, the private combos. I figured it out. You stole my idea to open a bowling alley, and you're going to do it with Terry. Yep, that's it. Jake, finger holes was our idea. I do not think it should be called finger holes. You're not calling it finger holes. Good luck, pal. God, this stupid limp is slowing me down. Charles, can you? I'll give you a piggy. What? Hey, jump on it. I'll give you a piggy. <laughs> Actually, I'm good. I'm just going to ask if you'd hold my bag. Oh, yeah, sure. It makes more sense. Yeah. Jake's wheels are turning. Your brain baby is crowning. Boy, oh, please. That's disgusting. No, it's helping. I am having a brain baby. Then push, man. Push. Breathe. You can do this. You are so strong. Ah, uh, got it. It's weird. The doors are locked. That's too bad. I love watching you pound one out. Charles. What? That was sexual? Which part? All of the parts. It's a loophole. Loophole high five. <gasps> loop hole. Loop hole. Loop hole. Enough. This is highly inappropriate. They fell for it. Hook, line, and sphincter. It's sinker. No, it's sphincter. That's where you put the hook in when you're eeling. Well, I'll never use that expression again. Yeah, nobody gets mono at this age. You get it as an eight-year-old, and then you're immune. Wait, you get it as an eight-year-old? Mono, the kissing disease? No, it's a cousin's disease. You get it by kissing your cousins. Oh, I guess we're both right. No. I was wrong to imply that you didn't know what was best for him. Oh. You're an exceptionally supportive parent, and I wish my father had been more like you. Thank you for saying that. And, sir, nothing would make me prouder than being your big daddy. Well, we're off track now, so, uh, good day. My mom is marrying Shudder. Charles's dad, toilet emoji. We are gonna be brother and sister. To think this started with us just going to town on each other's sexy parts. Hey. Hey. Oh. I'm sorry, Rosa, can I talk to you in private for a second? Yeah. We'll be right back. Boyle, why don't you show Donger what a fax machine is? Okay. Okay, imagine a letter had unprotected sex with a phone. Okay, according to the tracker, Bodie's at a warehouse on 11th Street. ESU is on site, waiting for our go. Great, time to gear up. It's not the best case ever without some toys. Oh yeah, toys for boys. I don't know if I like that. Adult toys. Still sounds wrong. Male toys? You know what, let's just not call them toys. That's my fault, I started it. You got it, we'll just call them playthings. We will not, let's do this. There's nothing I'd rather do in my life than write a sexy text to your boyfriend. Maybe we find out where he's staying and just happen to run into him and accidentally strike up a little convo about the 9-9. Oh, that seems rather underhanded. Desperate times call for desperate housewives. What? Measures. I said measures. The only way to make things right is to do the worst, most awful thing imaginable. Dip your penis in vinegar. What? No. Stake me out tonight. I don't want to let you go to it. the guy. Wow. That sleep apnea mask is something else, huh? Oh, I gotta say. Ever since I got her? Her? She touches my lips, Jake. She's a her. So are you saying we give Hitchcock and Scully a case and make them work it together? No, no, no. We give them a puppy puzzle. Now let's go to town on them, daddy style. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. And while you're talking to him, Jake and Amy can babysit your kids. Mm -hmm. Unless you're too busy making babies over there. I don't want to check out. Get out of us. That's right, suckers. Jake and I are going on the coolest vacation ever. Official trip nickname, ACDC, Atlantic City Dudes Club. Yeah, that's gonna change. Gina! It's our first annual Boyle and Eddie Christmas. Are you excited about going to town on Daddy's Nog? Christmas is canceled, Charles ruined it. I got this Flowtech performance polo with moisture wicking technology. Kept me dry all morning. And a dry boy is a smart boy. Ugh, you keep saying that. Charles, you've gotten negative reactions from everyone who's heard it. I needed to see what Jake thought. Oh, I hated it. Really? God, it was a sweet old coot routine. You're going to jail, my friend, in a trolley named Charles. A trolley? Trolleys are cool. They have the, the bells. You know what? You said your mom didn't tell you anything. Do you know what happened? Yes, I do. And it's none of your business, Charles. Just stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Really, Gina? And where does my nose belong if not inside her parents? I really don't think that she did it. Something's off about the case. OK, Boyle. I trust your gut. Let's go free an innocent woman. Nice. My dreams are coming true. You and me, get my lady off together. I mean, you know how that sounds, right? <laughs>